Hello. Let's look at some E-mini Dow trading. Okay, we're looking at a 70 tick chart, live trading today, live account. Uh, I had uh, really just this one horizontal line drawn, and we have our um, bands, and we have a stochastic here, which I'm not referring to too much, I'm finding, during the session. I'm, my focus is up here. Things are happening pretty quickly. Uh, but if we look at this first trade, we see that even the stochastics were in a, a pretty nice position. Uh, but I exited that after four ticks. It just so happened that the price moved sideways and popped up. It could have very easily come down to, uh, you know, 25,005 or this mid band, a tick lower. Um, you just don't know. Okay, it just so happened that I got out of there and, uh, you know, it reversed. But then it moved down. Okay, we have, you know, two legs down here. I saw some strength coming in, decided to go long. And I exited while still uh, two ticks in profit. And the price started uh, stepping lower here. Okay, and then the third trade, I actually got in a little, a little late. You know, this kind of moved quickly here. Um, and I got in and uh, I, I exited this for six ticks. It just so happened, I, I exited that manually. It just so happened that it looks like the initial seven tick take profit uh, may have been, may have been reached and after that, we moved back up to the horizontal line I had drawn just about at the mid-band. And um, then price moved lower again. So I try to keep things this simple. Uh, on a trending day, uh, things look a lot different. Uh, but it's nice to have an example of a a more range bound day and um and also some trending days so we can really get a handle on all different market conditions uh if we if we move forward so i was done trading and that was um you know that was a what was it about a half an hour of trading only let me see yeah yeah, it was it was not even a not even a half hour of trading. Uh, so, if we look at what happened after that, you see it's very choppy, very choppy. Then we get a nice move, get a nice. Um, I have to point this out. You know, this this is a a equal three equal highs. Um, so, you know, this could have been a short, but uh, similar to the first trade of the day, it kind of stalled and then moved up. Then you have another two equal highs also after piercing the band that ultimately moved lower um, to just about the bottom band. And you have some more of that, you know, you have four equal highs here. Look at that. I mean, how many ticks is this? You know, we don't want to delude ourselves, but, you know, there were ticks there. So you have some, some more of this stuff, some equal lows here, uh, but the price really barely moved up. It was a, it was a choppy day. You know, kind of orderly though, right? Kind of orderly. You can exploit that. You just have to bear in mind that at any point, you know, this can start trending. You know, something like this, let's say it was earlier in the, uh, earlier in the day, you know, you have things ranging for a while. You know, this may 
reach the mid band and then start start to to move down quickly okay and then if you go short too quick you may be trapped it may pull up here pull back a little and then go down same thing can happen on the um uh, if it was breaking out higher so uh just some considerations uh if you just take today you know if you take um you know, nine ticks and you're, you're trading multiple contracts. Um, that's, you know, it's not, it's not bad. And, and then if you're really running a, um, a trading business with, with other instruments, you know, you can have some Forex things running, but I, I like this sort of trading for bread and butter and, um, just wanted to share that. Thank you.